open enrollment to buy health care coverage for next year through that federal exchange begins today. But for the first time since that law went into effect, you'll have less time to buy it. 7 News reporter Dave Jordan is here at the 7 on Main studio in downtown Greenville with more on this. And Dave, you know, many people don't even realize the exchange is open now. They don't, Amy. Usually we hear the radio ads and the television commercials urging people to shop the exchange for coverage, but there have been little of that so far, and that could mean big trouble for folks without coverage because the deadline to purchase it is next month. You could say insurance broker Guy Fury is furious over the shortened time period he has to find coverage for his 2,000 clients. I had 90 days to help them before. Now I have 45. Do the math. We did, and that means he has to help about 45 people each day through December 15. The previous deadline was January 31st. Fortunately, most of the people who purchase health insurance through healthcare.gov with the help of a subsidy won't see many changes in the cost. The subsidies are based on the cost of the insurance. As the insurance costs go higher, the subsidy by definition also goes higher. As for people without subsidies, Fury says they could see an increase if they buy coverage on the exchange. If you're not subsidized, you don't want to go there because the rates will be higher. That's because people with higher incomes help defray the cost of the subsidies. Fury says Blue Cross developed off-exchange plans because the Trump administration refused to pay for the cost of share reduction subsidies, which is why it's best to use an insurance broker if you don't have one. Anyone who's not a broker isn't going to have the access to the off-exchange products. And for those buying health care without a subsidy, Neil Caesar with the Health Law Center says they will likely see an increase. And the insurance companies have no idea what to plan for next year because of that and other initiatives that President Trump has put into place. While higher premiums are typical with insurance policies, the lack of clarity on what type of laws and changes are coming out of Washington will be the reason for the spike. If the insurance company doesn't know what's going on, they're going to guess high, and that's going to get passed down to the consumers. So clearly a lot of uncertainty right now on the future of the Affordable Care Act. We already saw two bills fail to repeal and replace the measure, a huge promise on the political stump from now President Trump. We don't know if Congress is going to attempt to do this again. And there's another wrinkle to tell you about. The site, healthcare.gov, will be down for maintenance nearly every Sunday during the six-week enrollment period. So that's something people have to consider if they're going to be buying insurance on that exchange. Yeah, a lot of people like to do that kind of thing on the weekend when they have a little more time. Exactly. What about the timing of that? Yeah, maintenance. Like that why, is, why during the period? Yeah, that's getting a lot of play, especially because people are wanting to know why they would schedule it at a time when they want it to renew or they want people to enroll. The administration says that was already pre-scheduled. We hmm. don't know if it was pre-scheduled back when the deadline was January 31st, gotcha. but now with the short and six-week deadline, yeah. it just kind of makes it a little bit more urgent time of the essence for people who want to purchase on this exchange to do so. Well, it's good for you to let them know. Thanks, Absolutely. Dave. Thank you.